Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is January 12th of 2019, and it's uh, almost 8 p.m. here in Fort Worth. Um, on the 18th and 19th, I will be at the Cowtown Ham Fest here in Fort Worth, Texas. My room is a disaster. I am getting stuff ready to... I purchased a table at the Ham Fest. And I'm going to try to get rid of a whole bunch of this stuff. My room has... I've mentioned this before, repeatedly probably. Filled with stuff. Uh, because my ex-wife... And my grown son and myself are sharing the expense on this apartment. And uh, I have one room and one bathroom. And uh, I just want to get rid of some of this stuff. So I will have a table there in case you're going to be at the Cowtown Hamfest on January 18th and 19th of 2019 I'm uh, this is one of the items that you may remember I, I think I made a video talking about about this the uh, DMR, DMR radio from hell a, a company sent me two of these to review and uh, when I got when I got him, I thought, wait a minute, I, I don't know anything about DMR radio, really. Um, uh, enlarge this here. And I really didn't know anything at all about DMR radio. So I contacted a uh, local amateur radio operator that uh, has a DMR repeater, and he has set up a number of DMR repeaters for people. And he uh, has a YouTube site and uh, everything else. So I contacted him and uh, told him that I ask. I ask. I explained, you know, the situation, and I asked him if uh, he would review. I'd send him one of the radios. He would review the radio. You know, he would keep that radio, and uh, then I would be allowed to copy his review and use that. I don't think he ever, I sent it to him and I enclosed other stuff to fill up the box that, he, you know, just extra things I had around here, LED lighting and all kinds of stuff. I don't think he ever did the review, so I was stuck with this uh, radio, so I <laughs> I did a review that, you know, it was like I went to Wikipedia or something, uh, you know, looked up like DMR, and then I, you know, I mean, it was a bad review, uh, embarrassing review for me that I posted to Amazon. So then uh, I just wanted to get rid of this thing. So I posted it on eBay to uh, sell. Somebody immediately, because I put the price, a low price on it. Not as low as I'm going to sell it now, but I put a low price on it. And this is actually apparently a, it feels like it too, commercial. It'll work on the U.S. Well, I'm not sure if it's a, I can't remember now. I think they said it was approved for amateur bands, Part 97 or whatever. And I think there may have been the, uh, on the inside, I think there may have been the number. Well, I don't want to waste time doing it. Um, so uh, anyway, it sold immediately. And then I thought, thank God. And then the guy who purchased it um uh, said, Well could you program the, the bio the new BIOS in it for me, you know, and I uh then he sent an email right after that saying, Well, could you also put in all the frequencies for my area or whatever? So I contacted him and said, you know, hey, I'm refunding your money. <laughs> uh, you know, sorry or whatever. I just don't want to do do that work. That's a lot of work. And he said, okay. So I ended up paying the seller fee 
to eBay for selling it. And yes, I don't know a lot about eBay, but uh, if I could have got him to cancel his order or something rather, then I wouldn't have had to pay or I, I paid. And then I listed it again, and I never, ever want to sell anything overseas, and I didn't know that uh, actually my ex-wife sells stuff on eBay, DVDs and, and uh, tapes and sometimes game cartridges or whatever, and so she and I, and I said, be sure and make sure, you know. Anyway, immediately somebody in Germany, a French guy in Germany, contacted me, and he was really excited. Oh, great, I really want that radio um, um, and I forget exactly what the thing, I'll pay you for expedited shipping, and I, I forget what all, and I said, man, that's, that's expensive to, you know, internationally from the United States, and, and anyway, he said he'd pay, and I think I kicked in a couple extra bucks that wouldn't hurt him as bad, and, uh, then I tracked it with, you know, with tracking, and it got to uh, Germany, and then it was at his city's post office and he said he sent me an email hey it's at the post office but they won't deliver so he says I'm going over there tomorrow or whatever then I get an email it says that he, from him it says that um, this radio is not approved for sale in Germany so they couldn't they couldn't even give it to him uh, and anyway he was really nice about it he paid uh, you know, he paid for the uh, expedited shipping or whatever that I had sent. And I think he kicked in a few extra bucks for what I, a few extra bucks that I had spent for the thing. But still, I came up. And then, you know, uh, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to have to pay the post office, their post office. But since they wouldn't give it to him, they just um, said return to sender. And I thought, oh, great. Well, at least it's, oh, I wasn't happy. But uh, at least it was uh, coming back to me. And then I get a letter later, so you can imagine a letter from the German uh, import-export or whatever saying that there's a, uh, I want to say icon. And I, uh, anyway, the battery in it cannot be shipped. And here are my choices. And not very good English, you know. And so the only choice was, you know, keep the battery, send it to me. So they did. And it, they sent it to me without the battery. So I got it. And oh, my God, this is, you know, the radio from hell. And so I put it on the shelf. And then I thought, well, I've got a radio sitting here. So I purchased a battery. And now I can't remember what I paid for the battery. I got the battery from Amazon. But it shows now the battery is not available, so it doesn't show uh, what I paid for it. And I think I paid about 50 bucks for the battery. So, uh, Anyway, it, it's a nice radio, and it feels like a really good radio. It'd be good for uh, commercial purchase. I'm, I'm sure it's waterproof, probably. I, don't, I didn't. Anyway, that's one of the items I'm selling, but I got a whole bunch, of, and I'm going through my closet and uh, finding stuff to sell. And it'd be really great if I could get this find some room in this here so I'm still studying for my uh, general license and uh, I haven't passed the test yet I still haven't read the book and on YouTube there is wonder if I've got it. I don't think I marked it, did I? Why didn't I mark that? On uh, YouTube, 
there's a ham radio club that has a six hour three i think it's three youtube videos and it's a class on how to pass your uh, uh for passing your general class license and apparently they also have a two or three videos for passing the uh oh i know i saved it okay go to my account go to my channel now of course i don't think you're going to see what's uh what I saved, let's see, about channels, community, videos, okay, I think it's videos, or would it be playlist? I think it might be playlist. Linked videos, uh, saved playlist. Okay, it must be something, let's see. Videos, maybe. Sort by, about channels. Yeah. Uploads. No, that's not it. Uh, Some place. Okay, I'm going to go to my channel. Maybe I'm not at my, uh, my channel. No, I am at my channel. Let's see. Recent activity, maybe that's it. Let's see. Uh, no. Some of my created playlists, uploads, popular uploads, digital. Anyway, I'm going to watch the six hour YouTube video on the general client, but Main thing is I also need to read the book, but um, anyway, a nice radio. I think somebody. I, I'm going to sell it for fifty bucks. I think somebody will, you know, will purchase it. I'll be glad to see it. Uh, I mean, it's brand new. I mean, well, it's brand new, except it took a trip around. Uh, it visited Germany and back. Um, the government shutdown is still going on. It's hard to believe. Huh. Let's see here. Well, see, woman accused of skipping a manicure bill and running over the Salone owner is arrested. A woman accused of running over and killing a Las Vegas area nail salon owner who was chasing her over an unpaid bill has been arrested in Arizona. Wow. Oh, people... Hacker Hook took down nation's entire internet jailed. I don't think that was in the United States. Let's see. A British hacker whose cyber attacks took the nation of Liberia offline has been jailed for almost three years. He launched a series of attacks on Liberia's cell phone operator Lone Star in October of 2015 which became so powerful they knocked out the West Africa country's internet the following year. He had been hired to carry out the attack by a senior employee at a rival operator, Cellcom. Wow, I, things... Things that happen... A German World War I U-boat now visible from the shore. I can't tell what that is. A bunch looks like a, I don't know what that is. I guess that's it. I hate this thing of... The skeleton of a German U-boat now visible off the coast of 
northern France. Low tides have revealed a relic from World War I, the skeleton of a German U-boat visible again off the coast of northern France. The metal frame of a UC-61 can be seen about 100 meters, more than 300 feet from the sand dunes with Stant, I don't know, if, I'm sure I got that wrong, France, just off the coast of Calais, Calais, in the Northern Sea, according to the news agency. The submarine ran aground, okay, well that's, you know, July 26th of 1917. Snowstorm kills four in St. Louis. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, by the way. Uh, road shut down in a massive Washington failure. Trump supporting Texas sheriff says to hell with the wall right now. Park visitors cut down protected Joshua trees during a uh, during the shutdown. I guess there's no park security there to uh, And then a GoFundMe is refunding 20 million raised for the border wall. I wonder if that there was a uh, Vietnam veteran. I think he was an amputee or something or other. Uh, yeah, it is here. Okay, this is the guy. This is it. A crowdfunding effort for a wall at the sun. God, damn. Excuse me for cussing. A crowdfunding effort for a wall at the southern border reached an impressive number, but it may have to all be given back. The GoFundMe campaign started by Byron Kofage a triple amputee Air Force veteran and motivational speaker sought to provide one billion to fund President Trump's border wall. If all 63 million who voted for President Trump donated, each would only have to pay $80 to reach the goal. As of Friday, the campaign reached over 20 million, but it's not for what Kofage hoped for. The campaign GoFundMe was designed to be all or nothing. And so, anyway, so it looks like they're going to refund the money. Those people can buy more uh, red hats that say make America great again. Um, I just saw something about Cheney. He's still alive on the... <laughs> Let's see. Trump reported the concealed details of a meeting... of meetings... meetings with Putin. And, let's see, uh, New York Times is reporting that the FBI feared Trump was working for the Russians. Uh, the Black Congressional Congress wants... Steve King, he's a uh, representative, Republican from Iowa, I believe, uh, wants Steve King removed from committees. Julian Castro, I guess that must be a son or grandson or something of Fidel Castro, I guess, is running for president, I guess, of Cuba. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it. I just wanted to update you on what's going on. Today is Saturday evening at 8 p.m. And I'm going to, I'm kind of tired of uh, pricing this stuff and everything. But I got stuff 
Oh, I'm also tired of not being able to. I can't even see my Roku TV back here. Uh, but I'm going to stop and then take that my practice test again for the general class license, and maybe start watching again. That if I find the link to that and to the uh, technicians class thing, I'll put the links below. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, for watching.